Hey everyone, this is Tom Dupuy with Online Media Masters and I'm going to show you how to use the WordPress SEO plugin. I found a lot of tutorials out there. It didn't really do a comprehensive job on explaining how to configure it and how to optimize individual pieces of content properly. So that's why I made this video. I'll get right to it. <clears throat> the first thing you want to do obviously is download the plugin and install it on your WordPress site. <clears throat> you can upload it through the Yoast website or you can search plugins the plugins menu right here. So once you've installed it <clears throat> you'll see this little SEO section on the left and there's options for Alexa, Bing Webmaster Tools, Google Webmaster Tools, you'll definitely want to do Google and Bing Webmaster Tools. And there's also options for title and meta description, social media, sitemaps. So uh, <clears throat> since the Yoast plugin is constantly updating, um, so are my settings. So I have created a blog post if you want to see the settings that I use uh, below. Um, you'll find that link below. One thing you might want to consider is setting up Google Authorship, which gets your face showing up in Google right here. <clears throat> and this helps people uh, put a face to a website. It's good for your traffic, and um, especially if people are searching for services, uh, people like to know who they're doing business with. So that can be really good, and especially for blogs too. So I've also provided a link below if you want to set up Google Authorship. <laughs> and before I get um, into in optimizing individual pages, I want to show you that I did <clears throat> rank number one for WordPress SEO services, WordPress SEO consultant. And I'm not doing that <clears throat> to be promotional, promotional or to be cocky but I wanted to let you know that I've been using it for about three or four years. I've helped my clients use it and I want to help you um, apply the strategies that I use on my website to yours because they actually do work. So if you edit a blog post or a page uh, the first thing you want to do is scroll down and you'll see a spot to set your focus keyword. I'm amazed at how many tutorials don't provide information on how to research a keyword. <clears throat> One basic strategy you can do is go into, um, go into Google and start typing on a phrase. So you can see people are searching for this. Chicago WordPress Developers, Design and Training. Developers is, has more monthly searches than training, most likely, since it's at the top. <clears throat> but that's just one basic keyword research strategy. I really suggest you uh, become familiar with keyword research, because if you choose the wrong phrase, then <clears throat> it can be too competitive. It can be it can have no monthly searches and you're not going to get any traffic from it. So you really want to choose a good keyword. And I have also written a blog post on keyword research with a link below. <laughs> so once you set your focus keyword, then <clears throat> I like to start off with the search engine snippet. I've included it in my SEO title right here. I've included it in my URL, and I've included it in my meta description. So Yoast will tell me that I, <clears throat> for example, I haven't included it in my meta description, but I have, it just only detects exact keyword matches. So you can see that this is plural and this is not. So even though it says I'm not using it, I actually am. A couple things I want to point out about search engine snippets. You want to make them compelling to click on. 
So if I only included SEO-friendly WordPress themes in my SEO title, first of all, most people are going to be doing that anyway. Second of all, it's not really doesn't really give a lot of information on what my content's about. By writing it like this, people know I'm listing 25 SEO-friendly WordPress themes. And I even say for everyone because I have themes for accountants, uh, blogs, businesses, charities, and so forth. So it's really descriptive on what my content's about. And same goes for my meta description. You don't want to leave these too short or too long. I would say this is a good length. If you go over, Yoast will actually tell you. And Yoast will also tell you for your meta description. <clears throat> I would say that's still a good length for my for both of them. So once you have your search engine snippet down, then now it's time to optimize your content. <clears throat> um, the first thing you want to do is include the keyword a few times in your content. So my general rule is two to three times per 300 words. And one of those times should be in the first one to three sentences of your first paragraph. So you can see at the top, I have SEO friendly WordPress theme right there. And then I might include it in the middle and in the end somewhere. You can also edit an image and include your keyword in the alternative text, which is used to describe images to search engines. And I might do that for one image. So I have it in my content and my image. <clears throat> one other thing I want to go over is the use of links on your website. So there's internal links where you link to one of your own pages or blog posts, and there's external links where you link to an outside website. <clears throat> if you're linking to an outside website, make sure it's trustworthy and not a spammy site, obviously. So you can see that I provide links to these different types of themes. So because I'm linking to 25 themes, Google actually follows these links and um, determines that my content is also about WordPress themes. <clears throat> so by linking to themes, I'm actually telling Google that my content is also about themes. So you want to link to related content from good, trustworthy websites. <clears throat> and you own, I mean, the really the most important thing is to provide links that are useful to people. If you think people want to learn more information about something, then provide a link for that. The last thing I want to go over is this page analysis tool <clears throat> where it gives you more recommendations. Keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of the copy. It actually does. It's just not plural. And it, not an exact keyword match, but it's actually there. The H2 heading, I wouldn't really pay attention to this. You might include a WordPress theme or SEO friendly in an H2, which is a heading two, <clears throat> but it's really not that important. Meta description, same plural thing, I actually have it there. Keyword density, I wouldn't pay too much attention towards. You know, two to three times for 300 words. Uh, page title is not in the beginning, it actually is. Copy score doesn't matter. <clears throat> I've used a good amount of links. I've used it in an alt tag, which is the image. I have a good length for this. It appears in the URL. I wouldn't pay attention to uh, this. Just create content that people want to see and present it well. That's really all that matters. Google your competition and see what they're doing and present your information in a nice organized manner. And that's pretty much the best thing you can do for your SEO. So I'm Tom Dupuy and thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions.